this video is created by Jagrat Creations. It is on branch account, independent branch. Hence, useful to the students who are reading for CA Intermediate, ICW Executive, BCOM, CA IPCC. I want to solve one sum on branch account or say accounting for branches or branch accounts. This is a simple sum on independent branch. Just observe the sum on the screen which I intend to solve. A trial balance of Anand branch independent as on 31st 2017 is given below. These are the credit balances, these are the debit balance, closing stock, one adjustment is given. Trading profit and loss account for the year ended on 31st 2017 is to be prepared. Balance sheet as on 31st 2017 is to be prepared. Branch account in the books of head office to incorporate the branch finance. This is the most important question. Now what do you mean by independent branch? Independent branch means branch maintains independent set of books. Independent set of books means the books of accounts are maintained by branch in a manner that branch can prepare its own trial balance. Here the branch trial balance is given to the total of debit and credit is 90,000. This implies that it's an independent branch. Independent set of books are maintained by the branch that is the implication that this branch is independent. Now this is the details given to you. I am required to prepare trading and profit and loss account that's very simple because it's a very small trial balance just with one adjustment. Let me first prepare trading account, profit and loss account and balance sheet. Here the most important point to be noticed in this trial balance, the HO account is like capital account because Head office, HO means head office, gives funds or goods to the branch and branch operates from the funds provided by HO. So HO account is like capital account in normal trial balance. So HO account is a capital account. So I am going to prepare trading account, profit and loss account, balance sheet and capital account from this trial balance and one adjustment that's of closing stock. After preparing these two things, balance sheet, etc., I am going to discuss about how the incorporation entries are recorded for the purpose of absorbing the trading account of branch in the books of head office for the purpose of absorbing profit and loss account of branch in the books of head office and for the purpose of absorbing assets and liabilities of the branch, how the incorporation entries are recorded, that is the main purpose behind this sum. Let me start now. So this is my trading account, profit and loss account. Capital account, HO account means balance sheet. First adjustment closing stock. See, here the branch account is prepared in the books of HO. This is the branch trading profit and loss account is prepared from the given trial balance and adjustment. Here I am going to give the effect of adjustment entries or absorption entries that I will consider at a later stage. Closing stock, trading account credit side, balance sheet asset side, opening stock, trading account debit side, goods received from HO just like purchases, trading account debit, other purchases are also debited to trading account, expenses incurred by the branch debited to profit and loss account. Fixed assets will appear on the asset side, debtors asset side, cash in hand asset side, sales trading account credit side, Sunday income profit and loss account credit side, creditors balance sheet liability side, HO account credit balance 10,000, capital account credit balance 10,000 recorded here. So this is how adjustment and trial balance is being considered in a manner required in my trading and profit and loss account. Now let me close this trading account. 74,000 minus 51,000 gross profit transfer to profit and loss account. 25,000 minus 9,000, 16,000 profit credited to HO account because HO is the owner of profit. HO's account is a capital account. Profit is added to capital. So this profit is added to HO account. So total balance of HO account 26,000 that goes to balance sheet liability side just like capital. Now have a total of balance sheet, balance sheet total agrees. This is how trading profit and loss account and balance sheet etc. 
are prepared from the given trial balance and adjustment. This is a very simple thing. Now absorption entry. Now this trading account is to be absorbed, is to be merged in the books of accounts of HO. How to do that? For that, we are required to write the adjustment entry or say incorporation entry. Let me start and explain. So, this trading account is to be absorbed by HO. So, how do I change the title in light and in light of that journal entries I record? But actually journal entries are recorded and the titles are posted in light of that. So, first of all, branch trading account debit 51,000 to branch account credit. That's the entry. Branch trading account debit 51,000 to branch account. This is the information to branch account. This is the information. So, let me write down the entry first of all. Branch trading account debit to branch account credit. Now see. Let me explain. Branch has purchased goods or acquired goods from HO. All these are goods are purchased by the branch. Payment is made by the branch for that. And all these payments are made by all these payments are made by the branch for that. So branch is presumed to be a giver. For goods sent to the branch that, that is being taken by the but it is consumed for the purpose of trading. So branch is the giver. So credit the given. So branch account is to be credited. Narration. The absorption entry. The following items in the branch trial balance debited to branch trading account. That's the explanation. Now branch account is credited. Now this entry, branch trading account credit 74,000, trading account is to be credited, branch account is to be debited. So branch account debit to branch trading account credit. This is how the narration is recorded. Now see, goods are sold by the branch. Branch has sold goods on my behalf. Sales is my income, my incomes are credited to trading account. And branch is the receiver of its proceeds so branch account is to be debited for that or otherwise you can write the sales closing stock goods return to head of is credited to the branch account like that so it is credited now gross profit is transferred to profit and loss account branch trading account debit to branch profit and loss account credit this is a simple entry now you have to write the entry for this expense look at the title that I write Branch profit and loss account debit 9000 to branch account credit. Branch profit and loss account debit to branch account credit. Total of the following branch expenses debited to branch profit and loss account and branch account is credited for that. So 9000 credited to branch account. Now this Sunday income. Profit and loss account is credited. Branch account is to be debited because it's an absorption entry. So branch account debit to branch profit and loss account credit. The following Sunday income credited to the branch profit and loss account. And here debit entry is made 2000. Now the branch profit is transferred to general profit and loss account. So branch profit and loss account debit to profit and loss account credit 16,000. Because profit of branch credited to the general profit and loss account of HO. Now branch assets are to be absorbed. All the assets of the branch at the end of the year no story taken by the head office assumed by the ownership. Assumed by the head office because head office is the ultimate owner of it. Branch is an extension of the head office. Branch has no separate legal existence other than head office. So head office cannot show in his books of accounts the amount receivable from branch because branch is the head office entity itself. So, you can't say in the balance sheet of HO that this is the amount payable to branch, this is the amount this is the recoverable from the branch in the balance sheet. You can't write in that fashion. The existence of the branch is created in the books of head office temporarily during the year, but the existence of the branch is to be merged in the existence of HO at the end of the year. So that when you go for a reporting of the balance sheet, you can't write anywhere recoverable amount from the branch or amount payable to the branch and that's why the 
26,000 is the balance, but it represents assets and liabilities. All assets are to be assumed by the head office. Head office takes all the assets from the branch. So assets comes in the ownership of the branch in the, uh, by notional entry in the books of accounts of the HO. So fixed assets account debit, returns account debit, cash account debit, stock account debit, branch is the giver, branch account is to be credited for that. Liabilities are taken. So branch account debit, see here the posting is made to branch account. Now creditors account, branch account debit to creditors account credit. So branch account is to be debited for that. Now after recording all this absorption entry, find the missing item in the branch account total of credit side 94,000, 94,000. From this 84,000 is deducted, there is an opening balance of 10,000. This opening balance 10,000 agrees with this balance. That's an important point. So this 10,000 and 10,000 always come in agreement. This is how the main purpose of this sum is to show you how the absorption entry for trading account of the branch, how the absorption entry for trading account of the, or uh, absorption entry for the profit and loss account of the branch, how the transfer of gross profit from branch trading or branch profit, how the assets of the branch are absorbed by writing the adjustment entry, how the liabilities of the branch are absorbed by HO by writing adjustment entry. That is the main purpose for which this small sum was taken into consideration. Now this is how the sum is prepared. The most important point to be observed that first I write sales closing stock just write in the inner column then I give the title. Actually while solving the sum you should give the titles in this fashion and then you should write but as this is this is how I wanted to explain you the basic concept that's why I have just uh, demonstrated how have I solved the sum. I have tried to explain you this sum. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to all of you.